What's up, fellas and ladies? We out here. We're getting this started. And one thing to note, you see my fire is in its infant stages or the beginning stages. I decided to go with the V-basket. Let me get a close-up. I bought both the V-basket and the standard one. Uh, and I'm trying to work on my temps. So this is my first time using it. You can see the brand new metal on it. Got a little rust, never touched it yet. Uh, we're gonna test this one out and see if I can get my temps to hone down to uh, 250. Um, as you can see, the thermometers are haven't even moved yet. So stay tuned, y'all. It's about time to cook those turkeys and hams. We'll be back. All right, ladies and gents, we're back. And today, I'm gonna show you everything we're using. We're injecting the turkey right now, so I'm using my handy dandy Creole style butter from Tone Accessories. And I'm using his seasoning to coat it. If I was gonna fry it, I'd use the same ingredients. Uh, these two right here for my hams, I'm doing one of each. The Paraline Honey Ham, awesome. And then the Honey Bacon Barbecue, you already know. Bacon come from the pig, so guess what? It's got to taste good, right? So those will come later, but for now, I'm gonna show you my, my new gadget. And I'll put it in the comments of those link, link is on Amazon. Feel free to support your boy. I get a little, I don't even know what I get from it. Um, if you decide to purchase one via that link, and it's just simple. Let me show you all the concoctions that come with Different ones. So this is good right here if you use uh, different, uh, it's got multiple holes. So if you're trying to inject something like a brisket and you don't want to poke too many holes, look at that hole right there. Yeah, you know what that comes for. When you're using seasoning that won't melt, you use that needle. Of course, you're cleaning agents, so you got some smaller ones. But today, I'm doing a straight liquid. Shake it up real well. And let's go to town, y'all. We're going to fast forward this part up. I'm going to show you how this works first. Literally, you just pull it. And let me make sure I got it. And you just squeeze it. And the rest is history. All right. Now, these kits do come with the cheap, the cheap plunger type. I keep them. Sometimes I'm doing a little small chicken, so I don't have to pull out this big boy. But uh, I'll just pull it back and get busy again. So one more time, just to show you. Yep. And now, all I'm gonna do is stick it in here and pull the plunger. Things work like a champ, y'all. Look at that. Just that easy. So anyway, we're gonna fast forward this. I'm gonna start with the back. That way when I flip it over into the, the breast, which is the main part I wanna get, I'm not gonna overly season it because it is brined. If I didn't do a brine, if I was frying it, then I would use this whole bottle. But today I'm probably gonna use half the bottle just to get the flavor in there because I don't wanna over season it. So here we go, y'all. Stay tuned. <laughs> Season this bird, y'all. No oil, no mustard, no nothing on it. Just seasoning it, lightly coating it. I start with the back. That way, when I flip it, I don't have to. I let it sit here for about 45 minutes. Then we're gonna flip this thing over. Remember, this thing is overly seasoned. Uh, this is the one that eat, eat. You're gonna taste the skin. Remember, turkey is pretty much cut, and you never really see the skin unless you got a whole piece. This time it's already, already carved. This is when you want to, especially when you fry, you want to get a good even coat. And that's it, y'all. We're gonna let this let this sit. And bring the other one out here. That's two down, y'all. Onto the ham, y'all. Remember, don't overly season this. Trust me, you're going to love the final product. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, ladies and gents, we are back. As you can see, I got two different injections, the, the Paraline Honey Ham and the Honey Bacon Barbecue, brand new. 
Remember I told you about them little gig, them little gadgets on the side, and I'll show you what I mean. I just cut this open real quick. These right here are injection tubes. They work perfect for these. Uh, but again, I'm going to use my handy dandy tool here. Uh, and like I said I, in the comments, I will uh, put the in the description so you can see the link where I bought it. Pretty reasonably priced. And we're gonna go from there, y'all. So stay tuned. I ain't gonna bore you with my talking. We're gonna go from here, y'all. Fast speed mode. Enjoy. All right, y'all. I want y'all to see this. This is the Paraline. Man, this is whoo, almost like if you're from the country or you know what syrup, syrup is like, that country syrup, this is it, y'all. Mm. I'm going to do this little bit by little bit. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all the tip when you inject it. You see how I squeeze there and I pull up and I squeeze there? That minimizes how many holes you have in your, your hand. And I'm thoroughly injecting this. It's like syrup, man. But I'm telling you, you know, because ham is naturally salty. Man, when I say delicious, you have no idea. Anyway, full speed, y'all. Fast forward. All right, we back, y'all. This thing is a hovering around 300 uh, using the, uh, the V basket. Uh, the back is at about 250. This is actually what I wanted. So we're going to go ahead and put these on. I'm going to show you where I'm putting them. And I'm actually going to use a, uh, a water pan at some point uh, just to keep some moisture in there. Uh, but the first maybe hour and a half, I'm just going to throw these churches on. Actually, I'm going to move it away from the heat. And cook them, just space them out, no big deal. Put one in the front, one in the back. These hams, they tough. They can they can go through whatever. Yep. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with these uh the giblets. Yep, we're gonna stick those. There we go. I'm gonna stick those in the uh the back just so they can smoke because they're gonna cook quicker. And then we're gonna go from there, y'all. I'm gonna come back in a minute and stick my uh uh as you can see I got the meter probes right here. I'm gonna stick all four of them in there. It's four pieces of meat, so that works perfectly. I don't need an oven probe because it has the uh, ambient temperature of the internals as well as the uh the uh the meat itself, which works perfect. I'm gonna throw the skin up there. Just wanna see what it's gonna do. Maybe I get some crackling, y'all. If you're from the country, you know what that is. Basically, skin, pork rind. Yep. So, we're gonna close that up. We're gonna wash these off and then stick these meter probes in, and we're good. Yep, these meter probes. Let's see what they're looking like before y'all go. And then we're going to come back at the hour mark. You know how we do. I'll check it out. All of them got checks on them. I'm sticking these right in the actual the bread. Yep. So one and two going to be my, my turkeys. Three and four. Be my hand actually make sure I can see the numbers. This one, since I never use it, still got the paper on it, shows how much I use them. But anyway, we're gonna run this thing down and see what it do, y'all. 
Stay tuned. We'll be back in an hour. Turkeys and hams for the kids, y'all. What's up, what's up, what's up, my people? Got a little ice in here, some uh, apple juice, organic. And, uh, yeah, we're going to just spritz this thing. It's been an hour. There we go. Spritz it very lightly because you don't want to. I thought I was going to use water, but uh, there's something about using water that don't sit well with me. I'm going to try it on something else, but not today. We're going to keep this thing moist. Actually, let me give y'all a close-up real quick. Uh, we're running at a perfect perfect time today. Got to be done by about, uh, it's got to be there by four. Look at that. Look at them hams. Now turkey is coming along, y'all. So stay tuned. It's the hour mark, y'all. All right, folks. It's that time to go ahead and do the panning up. Because I got to go with 2.30, and it's already pretty much done, but I need to put some some more of the uh, sauce on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz everything. Look at them golden brown. There it is, y'all. Yeah, good spritz. Rain. Drop this off real quick. I'm going to do these hands first, y'all. I double panning them. And I'm doing that for sturdiness. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take each hand, stick in a pan, Slide it out a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and take my meat probes out. Let me sit those over there. And those will go back in uh, with aluminum foil on them. And what I'm going to do with the turkeys, I'm going to go ahead and stick these in for now, just so I make room. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. And all I did, I'm gonna show y'all. Got my honey, my parmalade, shake them up. Some more of the honey bake. And then the Creole, a little bit left for that, that sauce. I'm gonna take these turkeys. Look at them. I'm gonna get y'all close up in a minute. And I'm gonna sit the turkey. Yeah, it don't matter. I got four pans in there. That's that's good for the heaviness. Uh, for the Creole butter, I'm just gonna take it and pour it right over it. It's already injected, so it's gonna be super delicious. Keep it from drying out. I can actually, I'm gonna leave those in. Uh, these. I'm gonna pour these in a minute. I'm gonna let these sit. That ham, I'm gonna let them sit for a minute in here. And then I'm gonna come back, just pour the honey bake and the parmalade over there. Oh man, I gotta get that. And then uh, wrap them up and just let them sit till 2.30, y'all. So stay tuned, these things are done, almost. Yep. And we're gonna see what the schools say once we get done. Parmalade, just pouring a little glaze over. And right before we go, we're going to do a swap them out. Wrap it up in aluminum foil. Easy day. Honey bacon. Remember, this is what we injected it with. Put aluminum foil on there and let them sit for about 30 minutes in this good heat. And yeah, we're going to wrap them up and then it, and sit them on their way. Yep. And call it job done. What are the back? Hey, don't be giving nobody my recipes, man. They'd be superstars at uh at they at Thanksgiving and Christmas, and maybe even Easter if you cook them cook foods for Easter. Now, time to do the same thing with the uh the turkeys. We're gonna wrap them up.
got the, hold on, give me a minute. I got the Cajun injection. Yep, and we're going to put that some more on now. We're going to wrap these things up. They're going to be tremendous, I promise you. And we're going to wrap them up in individual pans. Put that little glaze on now. Call it a day. Yes, sir. I don't play by these turkeys, y'all. I promise you that. We won't play. Anyway, we'll come back and show you the final product at about 2.30. Uh, actually, about 2.50 since uh, my mom's here. And uh, she's going to go with me when I drop this stuff off. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll get some footage. I don't know. It's got kids in the vicinity, so I may not mess with it. Anyway, stay tuned. We're going to keep it going. We got here, y'all. We got here. All right, y'all. Cross your fingers. I hope this thing came out right. Nah, let me stop. Look at that. That smoke coming off there. Them birds looking fire. Man, come on. Stop playing with your boy. Stop playing with your boy. Huh? Stop playing with your boy. We don't play. We get it in. I promise you. I promise you. Yes, sir. I'm gonna wrap these up. Let me get my thermo pen. Test them out real quick. We don't play. Do the same hole. Yes, sir. That thing juicy. Juicy, juicy. That's what they call it. Juicy. Juicy got them crazy. We're going to wrap them up and leave them in the smoker. It's that time. All I do is take them from there and put them in the warmer when it's time to go. Man, come on. I'll give, I give y'all a close up to show y'all we ain't playing. get down over here y'all i get down i know it i know it i'm gonna actually show y'all my cards i'm gonna post them uh uh i got you i know i'm thinking about it let me yeah we'll move this out the way and then we'll wrap this up and i'll get y'all close up and then send y'all on y'all way mm -hmm. look at that Ooh, that bird. Let me get it in the light so you can see it. Stupid. That thing crazy, ain't it? Let me give you a better view. Barnyard. Say less. Yep. Just follow the instructions, y'all. It don't take it don't take much. Follow the instructions. And be able to control your heat. Those are the key ingredients right now. I don't care who instructions you follow. You can do the same thing, you know, the top-notch people that win all the championships. And I got my own thoughts about that on people who win championships. I, I would go up against them any day of the week, uh, barbecuing. And what I mean by that is, it's a different type of barbecuing. The, uh, when they win the championships, it's based off one bite challenge. Who you know just take one bite of food and say it's good? Nah. I need to eat more than one bite. And that's my point. They cook for one bite. So keep that in mind. Presentation. I know you done had some food that look good. That ain't good. So anyway, there you have it. Um, the hams, you already seen what they look like. We're going to send y'all on y'all way, man. It's your boy, Mr. B. Busy as I don't know what. Get it in, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Holla at your boy. Yeah, here we go. They're working at the next. <laughs> yeah. Y'all got a lot of stuff. Face. They still bringing stuff, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm.
good time. Treats everywhere. You got the balloons up there? Oh, I didn't even see the little arm. Somebody made this? Yeah, we did. Oh, really? 